Tonight, we're learning how Houston police say this group of five men was terrorizing more than a dozen people. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live tonight with the details on this. Brittany. Investigators tell us uh, that their investigation led them to this home you see behind me. And we are talking about a human smuggling hostage situation. They say in all 18 people are being held against their will. 18 victims hidden in plain sight behind this door in northwest Houston. According to Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo, the family contacted HPD's Homicide Division on June 5th to report their relative was being held in Houston for ransom. The human trafficking unit immediately responded to the general area of where officers believe the suspects and victims may be located, and the unit conducted a traffic stop and rescued a juvenile victim and detained several suspects. Chief Acevedo says a task force comprised of multiple agencies quickly began a rescue mission, and part of the investigation led them to this stash house. In all, detectives say 18 victims, 16 men and two women from various Latin American countries were being held against their will. Detectives discovered one of the female victims was sexually assaulted for nearly a month. One day is too many, so we need, we need your help. We need Houstonians to call and report any suspicious, suspicious activity. According to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the following five undocumented individuals were arrested and charged with engaging in organized criminal activity by kidnapping. Authorities hope the other victims' families will contact them, but they're also calling on Houstonians to be vigilant. If you see something suspicious, a lot of traffic in and out of a house, uh, strange uh, times of the night, uh, people coming and going that you don't even recognize. If you see patterns that don't seem right, please call 911. Detectives tell us that they also found detectives tell us that they also found four guns, ten thousand dollars, as well as cocaine inside the home. Now we also want to note of the five men that were arrested, three are also facing sexual assault charges, and we are told more federal charges are possible. Live in Northwest Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.